Have you ever rubbed metal continuously with its surface? If so, you would have noticed that metal gradually changes its shape. It expands. Therefore, there is change in either its area, volume or shape. Even when iron is exposed to heat, it expands. These are all the effects of thermal expansion. So, what is thermal expansion? It is a process in which a body expands in either area, volume or shape when heated. Thermal expansion occurs in solids, liquids and gases. Let's consider solids. When a solid is heated, it expands in size and shape, resulting in an increase in length, area or volume of the solid. This is known as a thermal expansion of solids. When a solid is heated, the molecules that make up the solid begin to vibrate. This takes up more space and the solid matter expands. Let's see this with the help of activity 1 to demonstrate thermal expansion in solids. Let's take a metallic ball as shown and a metal ring through which the ball can just pass at room temperature. Now, heat the metal ball over a flame for a few minutes. You will be surprised to see that after heating the ball, it does not pass through the ring. The ball size increases. Now, allow the ball to cool down to room temperature. Now, again try to pass the ball. It easily passes through the ring. This means that the metallic ball on heating, its size increases so it does not pass through the ring. This increase in the size of the solid on heating is called expansion. Thus, we conclude that the solids expand on heating. Next, let's study thermal expansion in liquids. Like solids, liquids also expand when heated. However, since liquid particles are usually less tightly bound to other particles, they generally move further than solid particles when heated. Hence, liquid expands more than solid when exposed to the same temperature. Now, let's perform another activity to demonstrate thermal expansion in liquids. Take a round bottom flask as shown here. Now, fill with colored water up to its neck. Insert a long tube in a single hold cork and fix the flask properly. Place the entire apparatus on a tripod stand for heating. Mark the initial level P1 of the water in the glass tube and start heating the flask. Observation. You will observe that the water level falls to P2 and on further heating the water level reaches up to P3. Thus, we conclude that the liquid expands on heating. Finally, let us see how gases react when they are heated. 
gases expand most when heated this is because gas particles are far apart and are weakly attracted to each other it is much easier for them to move further than solids or liquid particles when heated heat causes the atoms of the gas to vibrate and take up more space now let's perform final activity to demonstrate thermal expansion in gases take an empty bottle and a balloon now fix the balloon on the mouth of the bottle once the balloon is fixed it's time to now move to the next step take two pans of water in the first pan take icy cold water and in the second pan take hot boiling water now take the bottle with the balloon and place it into the pan having hot water and observe what happens to the balloon as you can see the balloon inflates now take the bottle out of the pan and place it on the table for cooling from here we can conclude that the gases expand on heating and their expansion is very large as compared to solids and liquids let's summarize what we learned today solids liquids and gases expand when heated thermal expansion causes an object to expand when heated gases expand most when heated